The record setting temperatures may continue today with highs in the upper 80s and that presents a few safety hazards this time of year. 22 News reporter Duncan McLean is live in Springfield and Duncan that risk for brush fires. Is that still a concern this morning? Yeah, Rich Taylor, we are live outside of the Raymond Jordan Senior Center in Blunt Park where there was a brush fire yesterday. And yes, those risks continue today. While we aren't under a red flag fire alert, the high temperatures still mean that fires can start fast and spread quickly on days like today. Springfield firefighters were called to action here at Blunt Park yesterday for a brush fire that spread to about 10 acres over the course of the day on the south side of the park here near the Senior Center. The fire department required assistance from three nearby departments, and it was just one of several uh, wildfires in western Massachusetts over the last few days. The extreme heat and relatively low humidity we've been enjoying dries out natural fuel for fires, and everyone bursting outdoors for the first time this spring raises the risk of sparks from smoking, grilling, general human activities. Nearby in Rhode Island, it got much worse. The National Guard had to be called in Wednesday to help contain a brush fire that spread to more than 100 50 acres nearby in southern New England. Now these extreme temperatures will peak near 90 degrees today and that's going to have you wanting to visit local waterways, maybe even take a trip south to the beach or out to the Cape. That's also going to present some safety hazards. The water is absolutely frigid pretty much everywhere today. We'll cover the safety hazards of swimming coming up in the next half hour. Working for you live in Springfield, Duncan McLean, 22 News.